Hello, it's uh, Gordon Henderson here, and uh, this is the uh, Rust Bio Duino board from Alex Eames. It's uh, got to be one of the, uh, not the smallest, but one of the neatest and most compact um, Arduino compatible boards that sits on top of the Raspberry Pi. I was going to do you a um, soldering video of it, but uh, my camera battery was flat, so I went ahead and soldered most of it up. It's, uh, there's nothing to it really. Um, start with the resistor, uh, put the capacitors in, put the big socket in, put the other sockets in. There's the, uh, the blinky LED. Um, underside, there's, there's nothing special to it. The resistor for the blinky LED is missing on this revision of the board. But I believe there's going to be a space for it on the uh, future revisions. I've just stuck it on the bottom of the board. Port B13, uh, port B5 is pin 13 on Arduino, and that's the uh, the usual blink LED. Um, I've left the uh, Pi GPIO connector, so so I'll solder that up now, and you can uh, see it being soldered. No magic to it. Blue tack on the uh, desk to hold everything in place. Make sure it's positioned. The usual stuff. Bring your soldering iron up to it. Hold the soldering iron onto it for a second and then add the solder and take it away. That's all you need to do. All 26 pins. Soldering iron warms everything up touch a solder melts instantly, keep the iron on it for a second or two and then take it off. And if you keep the iron on for a couple of seconds it'll keep the joint warm, it'll let the solder flow through the uh, plated through holes to the other side and it'll form a much better joint than if you just do that straight away. Here. Just hold it for a second. And even when you're soldering LEDs, transistors or even direct resolding integrated circuits onto the thing. You're not going to damage them if you just do it for two or three seconds. Look at the uh, data sheets and you'll find the data sheets say something like 200 centigrade for 10 seconds. And we are taking about two or three seconds per joint here. And if you are soldering an integrated circuit, well you could solder one side and solder the other side you could solder alternate pins, you could solder one pin and then leave it a couple of seconds and then solder another pin if you're worried about it overheating. All you have to do is just carry on nice and steady. There we go. That wasn't difficult. So what I'm going to do now is uh, grab a Raspberry Pi, plug the, uh, the AT Mega in. I might solder these in as well and um, see if it works. Okay, here we are. Um, I've got a nice little uh, Rust Bio Duino board on top of a Raspberry Pi there. Ignore all of this stuff for the time being because it doesn't do anything. And it works. I've um, run the AVR setup um, program that I wrote, which is part of the GERP board and the GERP Duino um, package. Um, programmed the uh, AT Mega told it was uh, an 80 mega, which is good, set the fuses on it. The uh, clock speed is 12 megahertz. Um, you don't need to tell the 80 mega it's running at 12 megahertz, but you do need to tell programs that it's running at 12 megahertz, because then it can do things like set the baud rate right. So I've uh, done that. I've uploaded my remote control test program to it. And the first thing it does is it lights up the, uh, the LED here. So hopefully you can see the LED lit up. I'm using the uh, GPIO command from Wiring Pi to remote control it. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this screen, but uh, I've just told it that um, pin 113, which is the pin I've uh, allocated to that, is an output pin. And if I say right 113 0, it goes off. Yeah, I'm right 113 1, and it goes on. So there you go. It's um, it's a great little. Uh, little board. It's uh, uh, quite a small and compact board. You've got a tiny little bit of uh, breadboarding area. You've got all the connectors um, here for um, 
wiring off to other peripherals, bearing in mind it's running at 3.3 uh, volts and not the 5 volts of a usual Arduino, so um, the rest is left to your imagination as they say. <laughs>